Heads or tails, Bryn? Heads. You go heads, a bit Ash? Heads. Ah, okay. Heads, heads it is. Me. <laughs> Turbo Conquering Mega Eagle, uh, experimental micro waste oil forge. Um, <clears throat> got some old fire brick out of my stove. It's not actually old, it's brand new, but it was never installed because I put a boiler in the stove. So that, that stuff's good for 1200 degrees. Um, I don't know, probably going to break up fairly quick. Uh, either way, it'll be good for a test. Um, that's going to go in a steel jacket, just to, just to give you a size of the an idea of the size of the thing. Um, it's really small, small little nice forge thing. Whatever. Uh, I started started knocking up this fire extinguisher. Uh, turned the top down, uh, blanked it off, so I can I can run air pressure in and fuel out. And the only other thing I've done so far is to make a tiny little burner assembly, uh, 1.3 outlet. But the 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 fuel jet itself is uh, 0.6, so. I'm gonna to have to filter waste oil fairly well. I'll probably probably try and start this thing off on on diesel or something, um, and then play around with filtering waste oil and um, and if I have to, I'll, I'll, I might have to thin it down uh, with a bit of diesel. But you know, a, a little bit of diesel will thin out oil really nicely. You know, um, but yeah. Let's see what happens. Plenty of progress. Uh, I'm afraid I haven't captured it all on the camera because uh, I got a little bit engrossed with the pipe work. Uh, I, it's a bit messy still, but I take this opportunity to run through it because I'm just about to solder the the burner itself uh, to the rest of the pipe work, and after that, it's going to become a little bit awkward to um, to what uh, pull it apart and show. Show you what's going on. So, the uh, incredibly small burner assembly. Um, basically, air comes in the back there. That's going to go through a needle valve, and the oil pipe is running on top into the side. Uh, the oil pipe focus uh, then goes through a 0.6 mil hole into the path of the air which by this point is going through a 1.3 mil hole yeah, I don't think the camera likes the cold you know um, yeah, oh, oh, nah, okay this isn't going too well um, so not not just am I attempting to do a, a micro oil burner forge which I don't think anyone's done before but I'm also probably the first person stupid enough to do it uh, a solder joint. I don't think it's going to be a problem. We did a test burner on our on our big forge, or sorry, big foundry, with a soldered brass burner, and the air and oil seemed to keep it cool enough, and it didn't actually melt or anything nasty. But <clears throat> I should imagine this is going to be running a lot longer. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully the air, air going through it will keep it cool enough so that it doesn't all fall apart. Um, 
it'll probably fall apart when I shut the thing off and the heat soaks into it so hey might all need rebuilding after the first go uh, but this is just a just an experiment anyway I suppose um, uh, I'm going to run these pipes down here let's go from the other one we've got air in from the compressor um, it's just got a British taper thread there at the minute to take the uh, PCL um, runs up here and into the into the fire extinguisher which is the fuel vessel uh, so this will take regulator pressure out of the uh, out of the compressor um, and this thing's good for 300 psi it's not going to get anywhere near that I'll probably probably have the regulator turned right down uh, either way this is the oil pickup because it's going to be waste oil in there and this goes right down to the bottom of the extinguisher or fuel tank as it is now and the centre one although the centre one goes up here all the way out here and there's going to be a joint there and then it's going, going to go into the uh, the 0.6mm hole in the burner the third pipe Jesus what's wrong with this camera um, third pipe just takes air pressure up to the burner to to blow the oil out of the burner basically and uh, help atomize it you know um, and <clears throat> the air, air passes over the orifice for the oil um, and blows it all out the front so the oil is coming out under pressure under the regulated pressure from the compressor and the airflow will be further altered by this uh, little cheap Chinese needle valve. Um, either way, uh, I've, got to, I've got to tweak the pipe work on the burner and then bolt it up so I can run the other pipes down. So this will probably be the last time you see this burner. Um, it might be the last time I see it if it all falls apart and goes down into the forge, but we'll, we'll, we'll soon see, won't we? It's not quite going yet. Uh, I think it will warm up and uh, actually burn the oil rather than just piss it out. Oh, well, nearly. It wants to go. Definitely wants to go. Ah, uh, put itself out. Well, I got it a bit wrong. Uh, I'm gonna turn the fuel down. Surprisingly enough, it's actually working beautifully. Uh, took a little bit of fiddling to get it all dialed in. Um, so there's a bit of a uh, three quarter inch round in here, been in here a couple of minutes now. Woo! Nice and hot. Um, yeah, it's not been in there long, that's so why I still got hold of this end. Um, uh, there's a couple of little bits I've got a jiggery poke about with, but other than that, uh, it's not even popped apart yet. Well impressed. Uh, no chance of the carbon cooking on for anything because there's quite a bit of extra carbon in there anyway um, yes yeah, stay tuned uh, subscribe if you want to see me try and fucking make a disgusting knife or something bye bye